apartment complex. Um, this North talking. I had um four four units what? in Tulsa. I had I was trying to buy the whole block. It was ten of them, so I brought four of them at the first. See, the good thing about a four unit is I can still do the loan like it was a residential property, so I didn't have to put down twenty percent. Right. I'm buying motherfuckers was they well, wasn't they didn't cost me nothing but a hundred fifty thousand these units, right? Dang. I bought the first four units for six hundred thousand. I think the rent was like a thousand a thousand each. So it was like four, eight, twelve, it was like sixteen thousand. It was I was trying to buy the whole motherfucking block. Right? So my thing was I brought the fifth one for two hundred and twenty five thousand, right? You ask yourself well, nigga, why the fuck would you do that when you just paid 150 right? Nigga, by the time I got the last one, I was looking at, I was looking to pay 500000 for it. You know why? Because at that point in time, I just dictated the comps. Uh, the other ones I didn't brought for a little bit of nothing. I didn't give a fuck. Every time I brought one that cost more, it gave the ones I brought for less, more value. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's I was creating my own value on the block. So you got uh, uh, complexes in Oklahoma and Detroit? Well, I had um, Detroit, dog. We like 70 houses strong up there. Half of Inkster, okay. nigga. Half of Inkster is ours. Niggas just don't know it. The niggas just don't know it. You know, it's called own nothing but control everything. You know, that's my, you know, you gotta remember, yeah, go bro, the average rent up there, a nigga collecting eight fifty to nine hundred. You times that by the number I just told you. You know what I mean? Everything can stop. <laughs> Radio can stop. Rappers can tell me, "Yo, fuck you, you bitch ass nigga." They can do all that. You still don't matter. <laughs> but I'm gonna have somewhere to live, and I'm gonna have money. It don't matter. Yeah, it don't matter. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Hey, but what? I ain't in this shit for the glory, the glitz, and the. And all that, I don't give a fuck about that shit, bro. I just want to be able to live. I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Wack, how did you save the money to get that? Like, because, you know, being out here is hard as shit to save money, but at the same He just told you he was getting, he got Bro, look. Yo, that's Ricky in that alley, boy. Listen to be me. careful. Listen to me, right? Oh, shit. Stop oh, thinking shit. about saving money. <laughs> Stop thinking about saving money. And focus on using the other motherfuckers' money. Fuck you worrying about saving your money, for me. You, you don't got to use your money to go get it. That was you use gem. other motherfuckers' money. You know what I'm saying? You know your credit score is right. Your you know you got your business shit right, bro. You got real estate. Got to think about it. I can go in and do a HELOC, a home equity line of credit. I got a house over here that I didn't pay five hundred. That cost me five hundred, right? I owe. 200000 on the motherfucker, and they telling me they're going to give me a 70% loan of value. That means 70% of 500000 is 350000 I owe two hundred. That means they're going to take me to three fifty. It's $150,000 they are going to give me right now on the spot. Back then, we weren't doing number 3 to 5% down, 10% max. Back then, so it didn't matter. I wasn't going trying to buy Beverly Hills. I was playing the cheap block block on a on 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 the fucking monopoly board. I wasn't playing Park Place in Charleston. No, I'm playing the little purple lavender property. That's what I was playing. <laughs> That's a dope ass PPR posted. 